So step by step, we are increasing the depth of problem. A little bit we are making complicated. This time I added the one extra load that equal to couple first time. Then we have one UDL and one UVL also. That is a triangular load. So project it. So at point A, we have fixed support and at point B, we have roller support. This one is called as couple and this couple is acting in a clockwise direction. So will be taken as positive value. This value is UDL and this one is for UVL load, triangular load. So if the unit couple has unit of kilonewton meter and UDL and UVL has unit of kilonewton per meter. So it has to be multiplied by a meter so that it can get into force. The couple already in the quantity force multiplied by distance. This is force per distance. So at fixed support you show two reactions. At roller support show one reaction. The horizontal reaction is labeled as AX. The vertical reaction is labeled as AY and the roller reaction is vertical so it is BY. Now the couple load you have to show as it is and you have to convert UDL and UVL into point load. So we have couple load of 18 kilo Newton meter. Always write your sign convention here that is equal to clockwise means positive value. Then you can convert UDL. UDL is a rectangular load so you have a represented by a point load which is equivalent to area of rectangle is 15 multiplied by 2 and will act exactly half a that is 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 meter each. So this load is 2 into 50 that is 15 equal to 30. Then as far as the UVL load is considered you have to always interested in the 90 degree first. So you mark 90 degree you mark centroid from 90 degree at a distance equal to L by 3 and the load will be equivalent to area of the triangle. So this L by 3 will come out to be 1 by 3 that will be 0.33. So project it on the main beam that is this point is C point that is centroid. We want to convert into point load so we will show here one point load and the equivalent quantity of triangular load is area which is 1 by 2 into base into height that is 1 into 6. So that quantity is equivalent come out to be 3 kN. And the distance will be L by 3 that will be equals to 0.33 meters. The total distance is 1 meter. So remaining distance will be 1 minus 0.33 that will be 0.67 meters. Now we are ready for the to find the reactions. So first step is to take the sum of moment of all forces about the fixed support or hinge support. And the convention is anti-clockwise positive and total equal to 0. So again these two forces are passing through point A so they will not cause moment. So couple will come in the case of moment and you have to treat this value as a positive value because it is clockwise. So it is plus 18. 30 kN about point A will make clockwise rotation. So that is positive value. 30 multiplied by perpendicular distance is. This is 2. This one is 2 meters. This is 1 meter. So 2 plus 1 plus 1 that will be equal to 4 meters. BY will rotate anti-clockwise so it is minus BY and the distance will be equals to 4 plus 1 that equal to 5. Then this 3 kN will rotate in a clockwise sense about point A. So sine is positive. Force is 3 and the perpendicular distance is from A is this total value will be 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0.67. So it is 5.67 up to point C I have to show. So 3 multiplied by 5.67 and equal to 0. We can solve it for By and By is equal to 31 kN. Now to find out the Ax you have to apply the summation of Fx equal to 0 which is rightward positive. We have only one entry of here Ax and therefore the value of Ax equal to 0. In the equation of force momentum will not come that is 18 will never appear. It will only appear in the moment equation. Then we have sigma fi equal to vertically upward 0. Ay will be positive term. This term will never appear because this is a moment. This 30 is downward. So it is minus 30. By is upward. So plus By. Plus By. And this value will be negative. So it will be minus 3 equal to 0. Now you can put for By is equal to 31. And we can solve for Ay. So we have Ay equal to minus 33 plus 31 equal to 0. So Ay equal to 2 kN. Answer is positive. And since Ax equal to 0, this value itself is equal to the reaction at A, resultant reaction at A. Okay, let's start with another problem here. And this time we are given one UVL that is a triangular load and one 
point load 4 kN. At point A, we have a fixed support. So we have two reactions at point A, that is the hinge support. One reaction at a roller which is horizontal, so vertical reaction and 4 kN will show as it is. Horizontal reaction is AX, vertical reaction is AY at point A. And at point B, we have vertical reaction BY, this force is 4 kN. Your only job is to convert UVL into point load. So first check 90 degree. Locate your centroid L by 3 from 90 degree. So centroid will lie at a distance of L by 3 from 90 degree for UVL that is triangular load. So we have to show one point load acting at point C which is equivalent of triangular load. And the area of the triangle will be the equivalent point load is 1 by 2 multiplied by height 6 and width 3. So that is equal to 9 kN. This distance is same as 1 meter. This is L by 3 is 3 by 3 that is 1 meter. So remaining distance will be 3 minus 1 equal to 2 meter. Rest distance you can copy from the first figure. So we have to first take the sum of moment of all forces about the fixed support that is A and we'll have a sign convention clockwise positive and the sum must equal to 0 for equilibrium. Moment of X and AY will be 0. Moment of 9 about point A will be clockwise acting at distance equals to 3. So it is clockwise is positive, force is 9 and distance is 3. The moment of BY will be anti-clockwise about point A and the distance of this point B from A will be 1 plus 2, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5. And moment of 4 about point A will be clockwise, so sign is positive, force is 4 and the distance is 6 and the sum is equal to 0. And now we can solve for BY. So we can get BY is equal to 10.2 kN. Next job is to find out the value of Fx. So summation of Fx equal to 0, rightward is positive, we have only one entry and therefore the value of Ax is equal to 0. Next we have sigma fi which is vertically upward positive. For equilibrium this sum must equal to 0. We have Ay is a positive force, 9 is a negative force, By is positive and the 4 kN is negative. In this one you have to put By is equal to 10.2. So Ay minus 9, By is 10.2 minus 4 equal to 0. So we will get Ay equal to 2.8. This is positive answer so assumption direction is correct. BY is also positive, so assumed direction is correct, that is vertically upward. AY is positive, so assumed direction is correct, that is vertically upward. AX is 0, and therefore AY is same as RA. Okay, let we have another numerical here. We have one point load, one couple, and one UDL. The couple is 16 kN meter, and the UDL is 12 kN per meter, spread over a length of 3 meter. So we'll project the figure first, and we complete the basic figure. At point A we have a fixed support so we have two reaction and at point B we have roller support so we have one reaction. The horizontal reaction at point A is AX, vertical reaction is AY and the vertical reaction at B is BY. The point load will be shifted at this that is 30 kN. The couple you have to show at the same place is 16 kN meter that is force into distance and is clockwise so you have to take positive value. As far as UDL is considered, it will lie exactly at the halfway that is 1.5 meter from each side. So that is the location of centroid and from centroid the load will act vertically downward and the point load will be the area of the rectangle that will be 12 into 3 equal to 36. So 3 is divided equally so this distance equals to 1.5 meter and 1.5 meter. To find out reaction, we have to take the sum of moment of all forces about fixed point A clockwise. So moment of AX and moment of AY about point A is 0. Moment of 30 will be clockwise so positive sign. Force is 30 and perpendicular distance is 2. This moment is clockwise so we have to write positive value that is plus 16. BY will act anti-clockwise about point B so minus sign BY 2 plus 3 plus 2 is 7. Then this 36 will make clockwise moment. So plus sign force is 36 and distance is 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 1.5 that equal to 8.5 is equal to 0. 
we can solve this and we'll get the value of by is equal to 54.57 kilo newton sigma fx will be the next step rightward positive we have only one entry for equilibrium this value must equal to zero so we have ax is equal to zero then we have sigma fy vertically upward positive equal to zero ay is positive value 30 is negative value so minus 30 this term will not come because this is a momentum this by will act vertically upwards and is positive value so it is plus 54.57 and 36 is a negative value minus 36 equal to 0 so we get ay is equal to 11.43 kilo newton and this is positive value so assume direction is correct even by is also positive so assume direction is correct and ay is also positive assume direction is correct ax is 0 so ay itself will be equals to ra